started raining, like as soon as I... I love England. Hello, my name is Alice, and at my heart, I'm a child. So today, I've got a bunch of Lilith's pet shops in the boxes, like brand new, and I'm gonna open them. I'm real excited. The temptation to open them has never been stronger since they were sat on my desk for about a week. But they're all finally here and I decided to make a video out of it because when I was a child I loved watching Littlest Pet Shop videos. I have my own Littlest Pet Shop YouTube channel. Now you cannot see, it's horrendous, but I always loved watching like unboxing videos and like living vicariously through all these people who had all of the sets that I wanted. So yeah. Back at the start of 2021, I started collecting again for some reason and I probably looked up this pet that I wanted. It was actually Lilith's Pet Shop number 58. You know that collie with its little paw up? Have you seen Ophelia's Popular? You know the one. I'm not actually sure if they ever got officially discontinued. And I mean, I, I did like a whole five minutes of research on this, so it's hard to know if we'll ever know the truth. So dumb. However, for me, I stopped collecting Lilith's pet shops at generation four. I just didn't want to play with them. I am not even joking when I tell you I used to have dreams about going into this one store that just happened to have all of the Lilith's pet shops that I ever wanted. And I woke up from those dreams, a broken shell of the man I once was. It was heart-wrenching. But yet again, my wallet cried out for the astronomical prices of Lilith's pet shop. And we're gonna open them. Basically, this video is just gonna be me healing my inner child. I don't... I don't know whether I should open the bigger set first, or if I should, like, keep it till the end. I think I'm gonna keep her for the end, so we can, like, build up to her, and then this will be, like, the grand finale. The first one we have is this cute little boxer. I love him. When I was a kid, I always wanted this kind of mold, like, you know, like the figure of this one. And I never had any. And he's so cute. He comes with a little frisbee and he is number 287. And I'm so excited to open him. The box is like a little broken, but it doesn't matter. Just for the record, in this video, I'm not gonna be keeping the packaging. If somehow any like LPS people are watching this, they're probably gonna hate me. I I'm gonna throw away the packaging just because I do not have space for it. So this guy is actually a generation one pet, which means he was made in 2005 to 2006, which means I think at the youngest he's 17 years old oh my god he can start driving happy birthday guy um he is adorable he came with this little frisbee um so he can like play in the park but he's super cute and he's got a red magnet so he's the goat the next set we have is this cute little pug first of all he's adorable he comes with yeah so he's got a newspaper, he's got a spat spatula, and uh, chocolate. Um, and it says down here, he is a messiest pet. He is number 623, which means he is a generation 2 pet. And all of the generation 2 pets have like... A certain symbol in their eye to determine what kind of pet they were. So this guy's got a little like paint splodge because he's messy. I think it's really cool. Um, first of all, I love Generation Two pets. I think most of the pets I got when I was younger were oh, were Generation Two. He also has a little messy splodge. I'm choosing to think that is his cutie mark or something. cute. I have this set. I got it when I was younger. And this one too. Cute. 
Set number three, we have this three pack of cutest guys I have ever seen. I think they are generation three. And as you can see here, we've got a little crane, we've got a bear, and we've got a kitty. And they all come with their own little accessories. The kitty's got a mouse, the bear's got some honey, and the crane has got a fish. Cute. And the bear is also like, you can poke your finger in there and like, it's all soft. They're so cute. Oh my God. I don't know what it is like about these pads but they have such cute colors and they feel i don't know they feel like smaller than the other pads that i've got but they feel tiny absolute cuties um they are probably my new favorites we've got a kitty a bear and a crane and this crane i have never owned this kind of model she's so cute and then the accessories that came with them are a fish, a mouse, and a pot of honey for the bear. Set number four has um, been through something. It is called the Tricks and Talent Show, but in it, it's got a bunny, a panda, and a frog. And they're all going through a plash right now. Um, but yeah, the bunny, frog, and panda are the star attractions and they come with a bunch of accessories to help them perform. The box has clearly been through something since it's released in 2009, but this is the big one. Um, so this is going to be a little tricky to open because the previous owner has literally taped up everywhere. I don't know who was trying to get into this set. They needed to tape it up that much, but... Oh my god, I just managed to open it, and this one is a pig sticker! And it came with these three pets, so we've got a panda, a frog, and a bunny! But the accessories they came with were definitely my favorite. Um, we've got this cute little counter so they can sit behind the counter and like judge the contestants. We've got this disco ball so they can dance. We've got a music box. We've got a microphone. We've got a rain hat. But like, look, are you joking? Oh my god, I love them. This best up so much. They're so cute. We've got these glasses, this necklace, a top hat, some more glasses, which I kind of want to put on my crane. Oh my god, she's so cute. She's so cute. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at her. Anyway. Last accessories we've got are these three matching necklaces. So we've got a green one, a yellow one, and a blue one. And then of course, the actual trophy. Cute! Oh my god, I'm gonna put a necklace on the crane. Okay, so it didn't fit on her neck, so we put it on her ankle. I love this crane so much. I'm so happy right now. My two favorite pets from this haul obviously the crane and then probably the panda i think they'd be best friends if i was 12 and i made like a let's play they'd be best friends when i was watching lola's pet shop videos when i was younger the people with the most clout had the best nails so to this day one of the reasons i grow out my nails is so if i ever decide to make a lola's pet shop video my hands will look sexy let me know so yeah thank you so much for coming on this journey with me um I'm sure I will make a video like this again. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I, I enjoyed. I, I really enjoyed. <laughs> I'm very happy to have made this video. And I hope you enjoyed it in some way. <laughs> if you did not, do not let me know. I will cry.
I don't know how to like end the video. Like all of my other videos have been just me talking and then I just stop. Should it, should it be the same? Should I just like end the video at like a random point? <laughs>